Alright, hello, welcome to episode 5 of Eganheart's Escapades Into the Radius. It is currently 1.07 on Thursday, the 21st of October, 1940, I guess, I suppose, just to anchor us somewhere in time. We went out and did a couple missions before. We still have time left in the day, so I figure we can go ahead and continue on. We still have almost a day left, so at 2 o'clock tomorrow... One o'clock tomorrow. Yeah, you know, one o'clock tomorrow. It will reset everything, so I figured we can go out and do some other missions. They don't let us stack the missions, so like there's something here and there's something here, but we can't just grab both of them and then go and get it, unfortunately. That's one design change that I would recommend, but I mean, I'm sure they have their reasons for it, and I'm kind of curious what they are. We'll let it play out and everything. Uh, sure. Those are over there. Dental carrier. Okay, those are way far away. Okay, so this is just kill all monsters in the area. That's just right here, as I've mostly cleared that out anyway. So why don't we go ahead and do that one? We can bang that out, and that'll be afternoon, maybe evening by the time we're done. And another $750 there. I don't know if we have a... Yeah, we have 2,166, and we're at security level 2. This is top priority. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely waiting until after the tide to do that. Thank you very much. Kill all monsters right there. All right, we're going to go ahead and do that. We have this M9 here, which is mostly good. How much ammo do you have? 16 of 16, so we're good there. There's one. I have 75 of those, so I'm gonna say we're good there. I'm gonna put this. this box of zero over here, though. Are you? Why are you here? E33 magazine? Yeah, you're just picking up space. Uh, one more meal there. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this, actually. There we go. Give myself a bit more stamina cap while we're out there. I'm good on health. I'm gonna keep this in here. Because those are actually pretty valuable, and I can always heal myself up there. I need to see how much those sell for in there. All right, yeah, we're good. Let's go ahead and do it. Goodbye, the house. Weapon. Uh, I have the additional ammo. Sorry, I know I just did this, but I need to make sure I have everything before I leave the house, you know? It's like the phone, keys, wallets, watch, and everything before you leave the actual house. Goodbye. Nice seeing you. You're the only other thing that actually moves here, and you spoke to me at one point, so you're cool in my book. Do this. Weapon condition worsens when you shoot, trigger anomalies, or get hit. Good to know. Already did that up there. Do I have another clip of this? Yeah, I do. That's the one in there. Magazine. Whatever. I apologize. It should just be right past there. So I'm gonna... Yeah, it's just right up there on the road that's just past the safe house, actually. So we're good. Literally just right that way. Yeah, this compass always points towards the the anomaly there, though it seems to be pointing just a bit to the right of it. There you go. And I figure, with the amount of bullets I have, and the amount of... 
and the amount of knives that I have, it's better to take care of them. This is not appropriate cover. What do I have? 7 of 16? Okay, okay. Are they just shooting? They're not actually coming this way? Okay. Give me a second. They're coming. There's nothing else. Alright. Hello. Fancy seeing you there. You want to maybe come over this way, please? Whoa! Oh, okay. You cannot actually climb the ladder. But I figure with the amount of bullets that I have, and the amount of knives that I have, it's better to... Oh. It is better to... Just shoot those cores out. You know what I mean? Instead of knifing them like I have been, and wasting the knives. Wait, anything else? There you are. Hello friend, how are you doing today? Anyone else? Okay. As I was trying to do. So clear? Does that mean that I've finished? It is currently 248. I'm gonna check around real quick and see. Well, it does it have? It still has that thing. It was right here, so I'm pretty sure that's everyone. But let me just do a quick check. Okay, I only got like half a pip gone from that. It wasn't too bad. That looks like a body. Nothing over this way. There were shooters over there before, from what I remember. 14 of 16? I don't have full. I don't have full? Why that is, I don't know, but I mean, you do you, me. Yeah, 309, plenty of time to get back. And it's not until like 1 p.m. tomorrow. Th yeah. The tide won't come until 1 p.m. tomorrow. The walker there. Don't see a shooter. A silhouette. Fucking pretentious ass name that's hard to say. That's a shooter. That's a shooter, alright. Look at you. Actually patrolling. How is that not hitting you? God damn. 239? Alright. I'm gonna hit this. Uh, 
doesn't appear to be much here except for cover from the shooter. I really need to get better at aiming these things. I feel like I'm shooting it correctly. I mean, using my right eye instead of my left eye, but it's not appreciably different. Like, I'm accounting for bullet drop. I don't really know which way the wind's going. It doesn't feel like it's going anyway because of the ash. God. I need to get better at that. Which I suppose this is all just practice. Still good on health, still good on time. Let's keep exploring. We can always just run back if we want. But this appears to be the actual edge of the entire map. I just keep going that way and then I get to the... And I get to the exit to the next map. I assume we're going to have that overworld map fill in a bit. I should probably get a silencer on this, but for now it's useful making noise, drawing all the enemies to me, because I don't tend to stealth much, as you can tell. Oh. I hear a tick tick. That's it, isn't it? Oh, hey, another one. Look at that. Whatever. Worst case, they're worth money, right? Okay, that's another full shard as opposed to the partial shard. Oh, cool. Alright. Let's do this. Bit of extra stuff, bit of extra bullets that I'll just take care of later. A lot of shotgun and the 9x18s. I haven't seen any native 9x19s yet. Sorry for the jerkiness of this, I'm just glancing around real quick. What are you? Weather monitor. Valuable equipment left behind by either reckless or unfortunate explorer. The UNPSC, that's the acronym, will be willing to pay a lot to get it back. Right? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Just regulars. Yeah, I don't care about those. I do care about my M9, though. I keep dropping it. Five twenty-two. Gonna get dark soon, but I did clear this place out for the most part. I might as well keep looking, right? Oh, another one. Look at that. Okay. A single bullet. I do not care. That's 50 bucks right there. Look at me go. Yeah, I can kind of... Ah, oh, nice. 
I can look in the drawers to either side as I look in there. So that's useful. Nothing over here. Ooh, food. All right. 549, this is always the tense part for me. In case you couldn't tell, which you probably can because of my breathless tone and everything. But like, what if something comes out of nowhere and then kills me? What if I get hit by the tide or something? What if an unknown shooter gets me and I lose all of this progress? Why do they have just drawers of things? That's the worst. And it's also dusty, ugh. Okay, I'm gonna say it's time to get back. 613, we've gotten everything. Okay, I lied, all right. I'm the worst. It's not coming until one o'clock tomorrow morning, or tomorrow afternoon, you know? Hello. I'll read you when I get- oh. I'll read you when I get back. Oh, nice. Okay. And that's why I'm looting everything. Ish. Ooh. Very nice. I keep hitting my desk in real life. It's the worst. Okay. Anything on the top floor? Hello? Nice to meet ya. Sorry about that. I'm trying my best not to. Okay, yeah, I'm doing my best to not touch any of those if they're not the highlighted ones that say things, because what if I am actually killing sentient beings like that, you know? What if they are just the things that I'll check up here too. I'm the worst. I really am. <sighs> Nothing? Okay. Alright. We're good. Fine. Everything's alright. We're going back. What are you at? 11 of 16. I have time to fix that. Liking the concept of this game, for sure, like I said before. It's losing a little bit of its luster because I just get a bit motion sick in ways that I straight up didn't in Saints and Sinners, the Walking Dead game. But it's still doing great. Of course, VR legs are a process that you get to. I, yeah, you just develop those over time. I certainly didn't start being this competent in VR, if I can be conceited for a second. Come on. Turn on, damn you. There we go. Let's see. I want to explore over there. Maybe 
go to that safe room and see if there's anything in there. Yeah, that'll be next time, after the tide. Assuming we have the same missions and everything. There's a bit of visual artifacting there, in the same manner as the fire back in the base. It's like a three-dimensional object, that darker tree, and a two-dimensional texture that's just anchored in the air. And how the fire is a couple logs and then an X of two-dimensional textures. 803, perfect time to get back. All right, we'll process this, turn in the thing that we have, and we'll call it an episode. I would say this will be a very short episode, but knowing me, given the experience so far, it's gonna be the bulk of the episode right here, processing everything, cleaning my weapons, just being all nitpicky, you know? Maybe getting some... It does seem to be alright. It at least didn't sicken me. It might have lessened the amount of stamina that it gave back, but I kept some pineapple in there. Here we go. And we're good with that. How are you doing? Since this is the one thing I can't repair myself. I'm gonna say we're good. I won't sell anything just yet. Let's get to processing. That was a very productive day, I have to say. At 8.08 p.m.? Yeah. Is there anything new or different here? Things have been happening, you know? Like that... yielding crystal. Great, so let's see here. Stash number four. Listen, wuss, I got you a present right inside the stove in the greenhouse in Balatki. It's not your favorite minced pies, but you better check it. Alright, I have that, that one and... No. This isn't that one. There's another note that talks about a stash in a pipe. Yeah, stash number one, stash number four. Alright. These two are going together. Let's see what I have. Another PM that's in the red, so it has to have... Uh, it has to be repaired in the machine instead of physically doing it. What are you? Forest's Delight. 100% real pork. Very nice. Canned meat. Some meat-like substance that looks nutritious. Contains five portions. No, it's pork. It says it right on the tin. Unless they're trying to tell me that it's not pork, you know? Oh, wrong thing. We're getting close to a full pack. That more, just those. All right. One shot. That goes. Another buck shot. Another buck shot. Oh, is ten the most you can store? All right. Cool. Making progress on those. It helps that I never use the shotgun, you know. A TT-33! Look at that! We just had this... There we go. We just had this mag from a TT-33. Uh, that's 762 by 25. Do I have any of that? Yeah, that's this gray one that I was like, oh, I haven't found anything for it yet. Let's see. It's that blue and everything, but it doesn't have any ammo or anything, so we'll get you sorted. You'll be great. These two are empty. They join the stash here. 
11 left in there. That's okay. Oh, more canned meat. What are you? Oh, pineapple. I lied about the meatness. Pretty canned, though. Another Hector. What are you? A Pia magazine. It's red. Okay, you might be being sold. A monocular. Ooh, I can use it as a microscope. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, it's fascinating. Hmm, it's a rock. Eat. Sorry. <laughs> oh. That was there, and it got registered by the vice. I was like, why is it showing the stats? Another sweet. I have quite the stash. I really should reward myself one of these days with candy. But post-apocalyptic society. You have to conserve those, you know? Build up a stash. Okay, fine. It looks like it should. Excuse me. Yeah? What are these, anyway? Weather monitor. Valuable equipment left behind by some either reckless or unfortunate explorer. The UNPSC will be willing to pay a lot to get it back. Three kilograms each, damn. Okay. Some random ammo. What are you? Nine by eighteen, of course. How about you? 9 by 18? Yeah. I'm beginning to recognize them, I think. That's not. That is the 763 by 25, I betcha. Yeah, look at that. Visually distinct. Okay. We have two shards now. There. I like it when they glow blue like that, you know? It looks pretty. Alright. Oh, another buckshot. Not what I wanted to do. One box left, huh? Wow, literally only one box, because all of those are empty. Oh. Yeah. I suppose there's 11 shots in that. I have 16 of 16. Mm. Another roll of paper towels, which is always nice. Good to have a backup of. And everything else is what I started with. Go ahead and do this. Should I leave these? I really don't use that as much. Makes sense not to risk it. Okay. Let's see. Times like these are where the game really pulls through with the sound design. It feels so atmospheric and wonderful and I can just lose myself in the contemplative nature of it. If I would just shut up. Oh, you're red, aren't you? Able to 
prepare you with this. Let me try just the tiniest bit. Yeah, nothing. You're doing alright though? Yeah, you're good. Is there no safety on this? Damn. Okay. That is a very dangerous weapon if it doesn't have a safety. I don't know why I'm going to just leave it hanging around like that. Stuff you were you've seen a lot of use recently. But you only need a good barrel ramming. Beautiful. It could do with a bit of a soundtrack. Like, in the mornings there's the birds and everything, and get them to shut up, which I guess is realistic. That's good. So yeah, I haven't seen much of this game yet. You haven't really delved too deeply into the- Oh no, it's out. You haven't delved too deeply into the quest structure of it, I figure. Here. I figure that this is like true to form of the actual size of the full game world. So like when I go there, it'll open up something over here, maybe, since those both go there. Like, this one will be something over here. That's what I'm thinking, but... Of course, waiting until after the tide to actually go exploring. So that'll be, like, episode 6. Maybe even episode 7, but I don't... I doubt it would be that far. Is that all? Everything I can do with you? Okay. Well, I sacrificed the last of it for ya. That's not... This is the... Alright, yeah, I'm gonna call that good. Safety on, since we're back in base. Don't mind me, you saw nothing. You're good. Everything else is... I don't have anything to sell because I've processed everything, put it in here. Pretty sure I'm good with that. Oh no, I do have these two things to sell. Another PM that's red and needs to be repaired. And the magazine. Doesn't have anything in there. Nothing in there, so... I'm just gonna go ahead and sell the two of them. This one... The magazine needs repaired. I'll go do that by another... Uh, spray. And then I think we're good. I suppose I should eat. Even if just one or two slices, and then I can keep it in my backpack, right? They're repairing anything? No. Right, because yes, I am repairing. Don't mind me. There we go. Beautiful. I would say we could leave that to cook, but I'm pretty sure going over there would reset something based on my experiences in the tutorial. It really is easy to lose myself in this world. It gets kind of hectic when outside and everything, but it's not the worst. We are a prisoner, to be fair. 29. Yeah, that's good. Do I need anything? What do you think? Do we need anything? We have a full repair kit. We have a health. Let's see how much the health is. Survival equal. 220 for an injectable. Am I... I'm half a pip short? What do I need? 
$50 for that. The injectable, I'm pretty sure would do a full thing. I haven't tested it yet, but I was down to like two pips at one point, hit it, and that was good. But I'd say this is still... Yeah. I... Yeah, it only goes up to 99%. There's always this 1% fatigue for $3, and then I just blow through that, but nothing changes. So ignore that, that's a trap. My fatigue did not actually leave. That might be just busted. Okay, so 2,790. Don't need any science equipment. I can get the camera though, that's nice. Combat equipment, more grenades. All the grenades. Look at that. I can buy monoculars. Oh, I could sell some monoculars. But you buy them for 150, so... Oh, I got security level 3 with this? Very nice. Oh, no, no, it's saying I need security level 3. Don't mind me. Back. Delivery? No delivery? Okay, so I just got the money from that. So I still have it? No mission. Okay. Huh. Alright. So that was a pleasant day's work, I'd say. We had a good time. Didn't I pick up a cassette? Or did we play that already? I guess we played it already. The next kill everything mission is over that way. Good without it. But it did cycle and everything, so that's good. So with that, I'm going to say that we're set for episode 3, episode 5, whichever one this is. Yeah. And that's in the pistols, but in another pistol area, because those are PMs that we've, re we've restored. Our stock is looking pretty good. Look at this. I don't have too many high-end weapons yet, but I mean, that's okay. I don't care about that. I'm living a good life. Oh, some soap! Look at that! Oh, that's so good. I can actually take a bath. Off camera, don't worry. Okay, yeah. With that, I'm going to call it an episode. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed Egan Hart's Escapades Into the Radius Episode 5. See, I knew which one it was. Hope to see you next time. Remember, as they say in my hometown, don't forget to be awesome.